Hey friends, welcome to my channel and thanks a lot for coming back for another motivational video. My name is Leanne Jokike and in today's video, I am bringing you prayers day for this year's candidates, uh, which is grade 6 and also class 8. My daughter Aksa Wangeshi is in grade 6. They are the pioneers of the CBC um, syllabus. So they will be doing their final exams this year. On 22nd November, that's when we went for the prayers and the candidates were there, the parents were there, the teachers were there and the board of uh, management for the BOM for the school and it was such a lovely day. We had time before God, we prayed for our kids, we talked to them and they were so happy and they, they were so elated and we, they are ready for the exams. So we are trusting God that he will give them the confidence, the assurance because we know that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. So the CBC curriculum especially is mad with a lot of uncertainty, but we are preparing our kids with a lot of faith and trust that their future is bright and that the government will figure out what to do with them and how to carry out the syllabus. So today they are doing the rehearsals. It's on Friday, then Monday next week and Tuesday and Wednesday they do their exams and that to mark the end of their primary school years uh, if the government decides to have them go to the secondary they will be the junior high and if they remain um, in the primary schools i think they will be have to be changed um, at least for them to just feel special um, maybe they'll be called upper primary or, or whatever the name the government comes up with so whatever the case these exams mark the end of one phase and the entrance of another one. And so here all the parents are being prayed for by the priest. Uh, we were being called the dreamers as per the book of the Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, which talks about the parents, the old men and women being dreamers and the young daughters and sons are seeing visions so the dreamers here were being prayed for the dreamers are the parents and the and the prophets are our sons and daughters so this was such a lovely day and we enjoyed every bit of it so the government of the day is barely th three months old and we have a new uh, cs for education cabinet secretary for the for education and um, this is the first time we are having a grade six exam so we don't know what the future holds, but we are trusting in a God that has been there for us before and knows the future of our children. So let me take this opportunity also to pray over all candidates in the country, all the levels starting from grade 6, class 8 and the form 4s. So let's pray. God will come in your presence and we pray for all our candidates this year. Lord, we know that you have a good plan for each one of them. Thank you because they have not been uh, through this road before. And we know, King of Glory, that you're going to give them the ability, the strength, the confidence to know that you're there with them, to take each paper, to, to write every exam. And Jehovah Father, that you're going to give them victory. Thank you, Jehovah, for you have been good to them. Since they were born, you have been caring for them. You have given them good health. You have given them a sound mind. And you have given them the opportunity to even be in school. So and we know that you're going to take them through the exams. And they're going to come out uh, victorious. So thank you, Jehovah. I pray for all the parents. I pray for your wisdom, Lord. And especially this time that the the candidates are checking their exams. I pray that you bring peace in our homes. Uh, bring peace between the husband and the wife. Bring peace between the parents and the children. That we may be able to give these kids maximum peace of mind. So that they can be able to take their exams. Thank you, Jehovah, because these are the gifts that you have given unto us. We are just custodians. These children are yours, O oh God, and we are holding them, O oh my Father, because you have given us the uh, the privilege, uh, give us the strength, the wisdom to carry out this noble task, O oh Jehovah. Thank you, King of Glory, because you are there for us. You have always been there for us, and we know even this time that you're going to be there for us. Thank you, King of Glory, for all that you have done in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Yeah.
It is in heaven, we know you're always there. 